five things I did to hit 2000. Uh, number one was I made a chess diary uh, slash journal. Um, so I did this maybe when I was around like 1200, I started doing it. And uh, basically what I would do is, after, I mean, I would document a lot of my online games and a lot of my over the board games. And I'll just start writing about them, write about all the moves, uh, why I think it was a bad move. And then I'll check it with an engine and just kind of come up with my own analysis. Um, and now my own analysis still and back then just wasn't like it wasn't pitch perfect, but it really helped because it really helped me gain, uh, gain clarity on my mistakes. And it really just uh, helped me like gain a very clear idea of what I did wrong in the game. And there's been lots of games where I can still remember lots of um, my old games when I played like years, like a year ago, just because I wrote them down. So writing your games down and really just just annot annotating the little moves. You can even just write, I just used to write what ideas I was thinking of, what idea I was going for, stuff like that. So that's the first thing. I definitely recommend it. Uh, this is my one, uh, if you can see it. And it's pretty much full actually. Um, I can uh, show you a game like here. I've got this. this. I mean, they're all full, but um, they, it was really great. And also, when I was learn, when I'm learning an opening or something, I also will write down it. Um, I'm watching a YouTube video sometimes, I'll also write it down. So yeah, definitely making a chess diary is, I think, it's great because you can annotate your games and also you can write down stuff that you see on online and all that. So number two is reading chess books. Um, I think this is very important. Reading chess books. I don't think it's completely necessary, but it definitely um, played a big factor in me hitting 2000. Um, I do want to give three honor honorable uh, shout outs to um, three books. And the, definitely number one would be the uh, Soviet Chess Primer. Um, this book I started reading when I was about 1500. I think I gained, I gained about 100 ELO points maybe in the same month that, that I read this. And this book is honestly amazing. I definitely recommend... Um, getting it. I can leave a link in the description for it. Um, not an affiliate link. I'll just, I, I don't know. I'll just write it down in the description. Um, so the Soviet chess primer was, it's definitely a great book. The stuff it teach about middle games. I mean, the main thing, the why the Soviet chess primer was so good for me is because it gave me, it really helped me understand positional stuff. All I ever really kind of understood was kind of tactics. And I was always just looking for that way. I was always looking for that understanding of what to do in the middle game. And it really kind of really helped me there. Another book would be Winning Chess Strategies. Um, I've got two copies actually, so maybe I'll have to give one away. Um, this book was goes over kind of uh, strategic stuff, is also very great. And also the third one, I gave it to someone, but um, oh, you could probably, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, but it's the, uh, the Chess Player's Bible. Now I read this when I first started playing chess, so if you're like almost like a complete, uh, if you're almost like a complete beginner, the Chess Player's Bible was, it's actually a great book. Um, it, it really helped me just kind of, it was, it's a very great uh, introduction. If you, It's a very great first chess book. It really helped me kind of, um, kind of uh, get my foot through the door with the chess book world. And it's, it's not very complicated. It's very simple. And it kind of just introduces you to chess. It kind of introduces you to all the openings. It's honestly a great book, especially if you're a beginner. Um, anywhere above maybe... 1100, 1200, it's probably no use, but if you kind of just start playing chess, you play with your family, trying to beat your dad, definitely get it, because that, that book helped me beat my dad, what was a lot of people's um, kind of number one achievement. Now, the, the third thing, and now I actually never speak, I've actually never spoken about this on my channel, um, and it's probably one of the biggest contributors actually was that I actually bought the diamond membership and I, yeah I've never spoke about this on, on this channel on this channel I normally speak about kind of individual understandings that I had like about bishops knights and all that but buying the, the chess.com membership I bought this when I was about 1200 um and honestly this this buying the membership uh back when I bought I think it's definitely I think it's improved so it's even better now it definitely cost money my mum bought it for me back then um but yeah, so definitely the chess.com membership is great, especially the lessons. I, I, I put a little hat, uh, or kind of like a, I'm not sure what's a star next to the lessons. Um, but basically the puzzles were great. The game, I really found the game analysis was really good. Um, kind of you, the engine kind of tells you, asks you to kind of pick the move you think you should have played or 
I found it really useful. Um, I know they don't say don't analyze your game with engines, but maybe you can do it after you've kind of done it without. And also lessons. I actually thought the chess.com lessons, learning openings, the interactive lessons were honestly amazing. Like, I can't say anything bad about the interactive lessons because they're honestly amazing. And um, really any level, I think up to, I mean, they're still probably good for me. I've, I've got the gold one now. I just bought it recently. Um, but the diamond one was really great. Um, because I think the unlimited lessons, I think it's the only one with unlimited lessons. Join the chess club. Um, I think it's very important to join a chess club. I think it's very important to socialize. Um, before I just played chess, I just played chess in my room with my computer. I didn't know anyone who played chess and it was definitely a great way to meet kind of like-minded individuals. Um, I got to play over the board games. What? And now if you've only played online, uh, playing over the board I found anyway from uh, personally I still kind of struggle with it is definitely a lot harder because you I just got I have to get my your pattern recognition really kind of you got to get really kind of um, transfer your online pattern recognition to your over the board um, so it takes a while I mean not too long it depends how much you play but um, that's something I struggled with and it, you will need to do it if you want to play over the board anyway and joining chess clubs great you I got to, I got to learn from lots of people you kind of get a little community I know my one is um, kind of got a group chat and all of that where we share stuff and it's really good honestly And now this is the fifth one and I, I actually don't think this one ever really I've never really heard anyone speak about this um, actually, but it's actually may be the biggest contributor um, Was that I taught chess to others um, and now obviously I've got the YouTube channel where I kind of go over I make opening uh, theory videos, I make lots of other videos, just try, try and make educational videos, I mean my, the audience I'm trying to target is anyone who's my rating or lower, um, definitely don't claim to be a master, but just try, just teaching other people, teaching your family, teaching your friends, um, it's definitely a great way, honestly, teaching people online, it's definitely a great way to, um, uh, learn chess, even before the YouTube video, I would teach people, I would, uh, sometimes, like, make, studies for them or analyze their games for them and write kind of what they did good and bad i honestly think in teaching is is great i think i think there's a saying um the best way to learn is to teach and yeah teaching is a great way of learning and i definitely recommend kind of teaching people your friends what you already know about chess because it definitely helped and those are my five things just go over them as i made a chess uh, diary i made a um i started reading chess books bought the diamond membership joined a chess club, and I taught chess to others. Now, I try to offer unique points that hopefully you haven't heard. And uh, I believe doing these five things can definitely help. Obviously, me and you would be a bit different in what helps us. But um, that just in general, that was really good. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got value out of it. And yeah, um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time and have a good rest of your day.